Hey, family. So, let me get this gum out of my mouth. I gotta get this gum out of my mouth. But, hey, you wanna look at them too? <laughs> you wanna look at them too? Guess who's five months old today? She's looking all over the place. Guess who's five months old? Guess who has a five month old birthday? Look who has a five month old birthday. Hey, look at you. Look. Look who has a five month old birthday. Hey. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> Peace of the family. Hey, yo. I'm so disgusted. First and foremost, let me do this because I'd be remiss if I don't say thank you to you all. I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to continue the master course for next weekend and I, I'm gonna give y'all a preliminary uh, holistic mathematics class that's gonna be one of the courses but we're gonna finish up the credit restoration next Sunday uh, as many of you know my daughter went missing and we got her back long story short apparently because I got my daughter back it must be a lie because we actually got her back it's it, you know I wasn't gonna respond to a lot of stuff people going online saying derogatory things about my daughter my, my aunt and everything from a liar to my, how my baby girl looks. <clears throat> I mean, it's crazy because it's a child. She's 13 years old. She's going to go online at some point or the other. She has a phone. And it's just like, yo, it's grown men, mostly just grown men going after my child. Like, she got a history with, with these people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, yo, the hatred. Like, since when do you bang on children? So Sarnetta just sent me something. And I got mad at Sa too. Sarnetta sent me this image. And meanwhile, my daughter is online and she got to see certain stuff. It's, man, listen. So some, some Hebrew is like, brother, I just got off the phone with him. So he said he going to take it down. And I put him on the phone with, with one of the parties. They put up a picture of one of my brothers, Nabil. It's a whole different ethnicity. <laughs> they put up a picture of my brother, Nabil, who came with me to the breakfast club. Thank you, Renee. Said my baby girl, beautiful. They put up a picture of my brother, Nabil, that came with me to the breakfast club as part of my security. And the brother that I just met in Miami the brother that I met out here in Miami, Roland, who was just driving, looking for my child as well. He was one of the people that in the middle of all this, he just wound up driving. That was in the latter stages when we found our daughter. He was driving and he like, yo, you got your child? I'm like, yeah, I got her, we found her. And they said that Roland, the brother in Miami, they put up a picture of him and they put up a picture of my man, not Bill, and was like, it was a hoax. Yo, listen. If my security came out here, or if I had security out here looking for my child, there'd be no shame in saying my security is with me looking for my child. Because some of my security was out here looking for my child. Because I have security that's out here too. Everybody was looking for my baby girl. Roland is not my security. Roland is just a good brother that I met out here in Miami. Simple. Very simple. And so these these older brothers and the, the young foolish brother out there who's obsessed with me constantly doing videos, the Hebrew Israelites, yo, it's so sad because there was another instance where a Muslim brother in the community said that I murdered my child, Ali Muhammad. He said I, I killed my daughter for Hollywood fame. I still got the same screenshot of the Facebook post and everything. I never saw him apologize. But I know people sent him pictures of my daughter after the fact. The daughter that he said that I murdered for Hollywood fame. It's just crazy. Like he said, I'm how the police didn't know. People don't understand. When you say crazy things like that, child services get involved. <clears throat> and a threat to one child is a threat to all the children. So now you jeopardizing other women's lives and their ability to raise their children. And I ain't about to have nobody tell me how to feed my children because they don't know properly how to feed our children, the people that work for these agencies.
they ain't even on that type of time. So, yo, it's crazy. People lying, saying I never filed a police report. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's the first thing that we did. We filed the police report. That was the first thing that we did. That's a lie. And Miami police and all this, yo, the police don't respond until 24 hours. So he's lying. That's a lie. The police responded in real time. They put up a flyer. They put up a flyer of my daughter and had that circulating. And when that happens and you find your child, you got to go back to the police and let them know. So those of you that was on my Instagram, I put it on my Instagram story with the officer that was brought, that, that pulled up to make sure that she's straight because before they could take the flyer down for the child being missing, they got to check to make sure she didn't get harmed. They got to talk to her directly and exclusively, make sure she can articulate properly what has transpired. And then in their assessment, they'll decide what they do from that point forward. <laughs> so it's a 13 year old. You know, we're not talking about no grown adult that's been missing. That might take 24 hours, but we're not talking about no child. So that's a lie. People don't know what they're talking about. Yo, there's no way police responded. It takes 24 hours. I know what I'm talking about. Yo, y'all watch too much TV. And then to say that we never called the police, that's a lie. Where did you get that information from? Or are we supposed to record every waking moment of what happened? Then people see me with a, a change of shirt. Yeah, when I found my daughter, it's Miami. It's hot, humid, sticky, sweaty. We got our daughter back. Yo, I'm... Knowing that the police have to make an assessment about her condition and if she's a right, I know they also have to look at the parents to make sure that they don't feel the child is in danger from the parents. They always got to have a double eye. They always got to look at the possible threat based on what was said. And they also have to take consideration maybe the parents or the guardians may put her at risk too. So I, for one, didn't want to meet any cop I, my nerves was already shot, but I didn't want to meet any cop that's going to make an assessment of my child and, and be sweating, sweating, sweating all over the place from all that heat. So when we got her back, I'm like, yo, look, I'm just going to take a little quick bird bath. That means I wiped my arms. I went to the sink, wiped off, and put on a different shirt to at least feel somewhat decent. I washed my face, put some coconut oil on, and came back down with just a different shirt. If I had the time, I'd have took my clippers and shaved, my, shaved some of my beard and everything. Cause I was wolfing. I'm out here just chilling. I was wolfing. And guess what? If I would have cut my hair, they would have been like, yo, who does that and what time? It, 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 it's suspect. Yo, listen, y'all are horrible. You're looking for everything to go wrong in a situation that already was bad. It's just sad. At the end of the day, my daughter said it was a white male that was in the car that called her over. She disregarded him. He then proceeded to step out the car and asked her to come over again. And she, she got a little nervous, or very nervous. And when she, the first time she got a chance to turn the corner, she whipped around that corner and hauled ass and hit. <clears throat> Facts. Yeah, and, and then let's not forget the religious people that when my daughter was missing, they would, I, I got to check every message to see if there's a lead or somebody seen her somewhere. And I'm getting messages from religious people telling me that it's God that took my daughter. And this is this this should humble me from all this other stuff. And you don't believe in God. And you talked against the creator. So I'm like, he gonna, he gonna, God is going to go after my daughter. Then when we find my daughter, is it becomes a hoax to the same religious people. Like, yo, they was hoping she died or something. Because she ain't dead and she came back to us. It's a hoax. Or the other people that was talking all that crazy talk, it becomes, well, you know what? God gave you a second chance. I don't know why, but he gave you a second chance. So, yo, all these people speaking up for God. This is why I don't believe in this shit. I don't believe in it at all. I don't believe in it. Because the way people carry themselves, so-called believing that, I don't believe in none of that. I don't believe in none of that. At the end of the day, be it a God or not, at the end of the day, that, that entity would understand me. And wouldn't hold me against it because I ain't got enough proof from day one. My daughter missing, God did it. My daughter come back, oh, well, God, you know, gave me a second try. Yo, come on, man, with this fake shit. It's just fake. It's fake. It's super fake. It's super fake. Yo, it's, it's sad. And, you know, it's like 
what if it's not a lie, right? And that girl has to look and see grown people saying that she's lying. Yo, Katz is actually taking a picture of the brother that I was on the online with and match the time that people took out to match him with someone else that's my security and be like, look, I told you it's a hoax. Yo, are you kidding me? Like the time to do something like that. But the worst thing is, yo, my daughter got to see people telling her or saying that she's lying about a situation that took place. That's not right. It's not going to be right no day out the week. That's horrible, man. And it's not just the religious folks. It's not just the Hebrew Islamic community doing this craziness. <clears throat> not just the Muslim. It's black people in general. And that thing is disgusting, man. That's bad. That's really bad. You know, we, we work very hard to do what we got to do out here. It's hard raising these children. I don't like using the word hard. Part of me. <clears throat> it's a full-time commitment, raising children the way we raise our children. And you know, like right now, I gotta watch my daughter. I gotta be super creative because she's only on breast milk. But sometimes her mom gotta take a little walk. After all this chaos and this stress, I told my wife, yo, when she go to sleep, go get go get waxed, get your nails done, you know, treat yourself. Cause her nerves are still shot from possibly losing our daughter my eye. Then to go online and people saying that this whole shit was a hoax and it was a lie. So guess what? My baby girl wakes up now I got to get creative. This ain't one of her long naps. So I got to hold it down. And hope she, st you know, she stays good. Because when she's hungry, she's hungry. You can't tell a child not to be hungry. Breastfeeding full-time commitment. That means a mother can't never be gone for like 10, 15 minutes without possible, the possible risk of a child going nuts. You know what I'm saying? So... And my wife breastfeeds for four years straight. So that means for four years straight, she never could be within a 30 minute radius away from the child. Or she can't be away for 30 minutes, even if, if she's away. Like I, I literally had to book a hotel where the club is attached to it to give her a club night she hasn't had in a long time. She don't care about it. I cared about it. I'm like, yo, you need to come out and get some, get some air, you know? And I, I had to go through many lifts to just get her to come downstairs. And guess what? In two hours time, <laughs> she woke up and we had to run upstairs with the blessing while she was able to run upstairs. My wife said, yo, baby girl woke up, but I got her. You know, I'm in that ain't even trying to hear that. Hold on people, hold on real quick. Yeah, I'm back. Speak, speaking of her mother, that was her mother calling me, asking me where I'm at. Hold on, smile the wife. Yes, I'm back. I'm sorry about that again. That's my other wife called me. Yeah, well, um, I'm just saying, man. It's, it's just wild how people be, you know, and I can't really express the way I want to express my sentiments right now because I'm not looking to put this baby in just harm me. From, my, from some negative energy and vulgarity and, and I'm glad she's with me actually on, on, on that note she's sleeping thank goodness and I was actually speaking of her mother her mother was just calling me telling me she's on her way wow yeah, yeah she's five months old today five months old breastfeeding my daughter mad she, she was breastfed four years straight before we gave her any physical food. And she came out amazing. She's very strong. Anybody look at the post I posted of her today. She got abs, muscles, yo, she's very lean, super athletic. She, yo, she's amazing. But you know, you get people call child services on me because my my daughter is vegan. That happened to me in Brooklyn. People went out their way, say uh I'm depriving the child and putting him in danger. I, I had child services called on me. One of my one of my wife's mother called child services on me because I'm polygynous and said that I, the children are at risk because I'm polygynous. The child services ran with it because it was two two women and they was against polygyny. And yo, we had to shut them down. Like yo, that's my sexual preference. Y'all wasn't gonna go that hard if somebody was a homosexual. So that led to a very nice lawsuit. 
people back down. Well, we didn't even get to go far. People had to back down. But the nerve of people, but yeah, this is what I'm saying, like just between my, my sexual preference to have multiple women in my life and also me raising vegan children, just keeping them on the plant-based algae diet. I got a paleo vegan algae disposition the way I feed my children. The sun just came out here. Let her get her vitamin D. She good. Sleep. She's good. I'm gonna move this baby. She's gonna Look, be she's up. She's actually sucking her thumb. I know. And she's. I'm only letting her suck her thumb because mommy ain't here. I don't want to wake her up. <laughs> Otherwise, that or? finger would be out of her mouth. Facts. Was she crying? Nah, she wasn't crying. She actually relaxing. She chilling. She with daddy. She's tired. She with daddy, man. She good. But just. Yes. Don't just as a be with you. as a precautionary step, we just gonna <laughs> let her be. She, this son ain't gonna do her no bad. When I move her, I gotta be fully prepared for her. So I'm just gonna keep her right where she at. Yeah, she's alright. You know what I'm saying? She's alright. She organic. Uh, you know, yeah. Vitamins are created. What's vitamins created by? What's organic? I'm bugging. I just I don't mess up everything. What, what does organic mean? Yeah, she's sleeping. Man, look at mommy hauling ass again. So. <laughs> huh? Organic means created by cancer animals. Hold on. Say it again. I'm sorry. What does organic mean? Organic means created by plants and animals. That's right. That's right. So which one is which one is organic? Vitamins or minerals? Huh? Vitamins. That's right. I ain't recording you. Now I'm recording your punk ass. Part of my language, baby. See, see, this is the energy I was talking about escaping when I got the baby. Don't be laughing at right, cause then she 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 the type like if she fart and we laugh, she gonna keep farting. So don't be laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy bounced already, baby. I don't even know where she went. She saw the baby seat. She got all up. But but look, baby girl. Real quick. My baby girl, my at. Yup, so you see that? If it's organic, it means it's made by, it's created by plants and animals, and vitamins are organic. So that means that the, that which is inorganic is minerals, correct? Yes. You feel me? Give me some examples of minerals. Minerals. Give me some examples. I don't want the definition. Give me some examples. You know what vitamins are. Give me some examples of some minerals. Potassium. <laughs> Potassium. Why you always do that? Pot Potassium. 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 There you go. Potassium. 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 Pot Seum. Seum. Okay. Why that word always gets you? Potassium. Yeah. Potassium. Zinc. There you go. That's what's up. <laughs> Potassium. Zinc. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Well, here's a tricky one. Well, let's see if you on your joint. Sedentary, uh, sedent uh, sedentary, uh, average push. But what is the average sedentary female? What's the amount of grams of protein that the average sedentary female needs? Forty-six. Woo! What is the amount of grams that the average sedentary male needs? Fifty-six. Fifty-six grams. Look at that. Look at that. Sedentary just mean a person who's damn near inactive. Just people pretty much walk when they go to work. You probably drive taxi all day, drive the bus, drive the train. Sit down in front of your desk. You're not really working around. So um, that's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. See, just random pop quiz. And if she get it wrong, she get it wrong. She get it right, she get it right. Random. But yeah, because we need to know. We need to know what we should be in and what quantity. Otherwise, we shouldn't be acting surprised when we get sick, right or wrong? Right. Yeah, should we be surprised when we get sick? No. Sickness should never be a surprise. Most sicknesses on planet Earth should never be a surprise because it happens as the end result of us not mathematically being in tune with the proportions of food we should be taking in. Facts. Like how many ounces of fiber 
does a male need? 1.26. Whoa. Whoa. You know what? When I be dealing with her for Dolo, she give me hell. But when she get on the cameras, she's a beast. Look at right, look at her like you. She wanna call her the N word. <laughs> like, yo, you don't know what we go through. <laughs> Man, that is such a show off. She's a Leo for real. Now here's the tricky one. How much ounces of fiber? How much ounces of fiber does the average male need? <laughs> I knew it. I know I know how I know why it'd be tricky sometimes for you. <laughs> Go ahead. 56. Nah, you see, you back over there on grams. Well, you think about the sanitary mail when it comes to protein. It says 8 to 10. 8 tenths. 8 tenths. She says 8 to 10. You see what I'm saying? 8 tenths. Need 8 tenths of an ounce of fiber. We're going to convert them to grams so you can be all right. But that's good. I know you know the word. I know you know it. That's what's up. That's what's up. And like I be telling her, there's no shame if she make an error because I believe 9.9 .9 people walking these streets don't know none of this. So it's almost everybody. And that's weird because everybody should know these things because if you don't know, then what are you eating and why are you eating it? Oh, it's just for fun. And that's dangerous eating just in the name of eating recreationally. It's the most dangerous thing that anyone could do on planet Earth. These are facts. Facts. Do you remember? Uh, tell me some. Tell me something real deep about avocado. What's inside of an avocado? I want to know that. Go ahead. Tell me something in the avocado. Tell me what it's good for, or tell me what's in it. Tell me something. I see you digging. I want. I want to hear something fly. I don't want to hear the corny omega three, and it got fiber. I want to hear that anti something. What it has anti what in it? Anti, come on. I want the fly words that we starting to work on. Anti, well, yeah, you said that, antioxidants, that's right. But an, what type of antioxidants? That You can't be doing that. It's a certain type of antioxidant. I wonder if I help you out. Fly, fly, uh, So what kind of, what kind of anti what? Antioxidants and flavonoids. No, it's an antioxidant flavonoid. You don't have to put the S on antioxidants, so I keep telling you. It's one thing. It's an antioxidant flavonoid. Give it to me again. It's an antioxidant flavonoid. Yeah, it has antioxidant flavonoid. And it also has something else. A different, another type of flavonoid. Antibac antibacterial. There you go. So it has an antibacterial and antioxidant flavonoids, right? That's the fly stuff. Because after a while, you got to graduate from just saying omega-3. That's light. That's light work. <laughs> That's, 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 that's for kids. Omega-3, fiber, magnesium, vitamin A, C, K. Like, yeah, that's nice. That's cute. But we want, the, we want to deal with the big leagues. We in the pros. So when we talk avocados, we talking about antibacterial and antioxidant flavonoids. That's what we talking about. We talking about the things that beat up the, the free radicals. And free radicals that be damaging our skin and compromising the integrity of our collagen which gives our skin the elasticity. Call, so things like sugar and everything so full of poison, sugar is empty calories, so full of sugar that it destroys our skin and wrinkles it and everything like that. Right? And also, what else is in that avocado? It has, has something in it called biotin that helps create a protein called keratin. You remember what keratin is good for? Yeah, keratin. Helps grow through your nails, hair, and skin. Woo! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! My daughter, man. Yeah, it's a protein, right? Yeah. Which we don't really like that word. It's, an, it's a special group of amino acids, but we'll have that conversation another day. But man, look at that. That's not what we was planning to do either. This is all reality TV. Yeah, help me out. Mommy saw her sleeping and hauled ass again. <laughs> Yo, call your mother and ask her where she at, because I'm going to have to get out the sun. She got enough of the vitamin D that's produced from sun exposure, right? Yeah. Because vitamins are organic, 
and that which is organic is created by plants and animals. So just like oranges, though we don't eat oranges, the calcium that's, or the vitamin C that's in the oranges comes from the soil, filtering in through the plants. So when the orange is birthed, it has that vitamin C in it. Very important information. Now they don't be teaching this stuff in school, and that's why I gotta homeschool my child. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go over there right now. Uh, do me a favor, just film me real quick. Y'all need to eat. Yeah. I am 5'9", okay? I need food. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of food and nutrients to maintain this weight. Man, you on point, baby. You on point. I'm proud of you. Months today. Okay, it's her birthday anniversary. Thank you, Matt. Birthday. Tell her, Matt. It's her birthday. She's wearing her birthday outfit. Anniversary. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Don't put the camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Well, school and right. It's anniversary. Matt got okay. way too you much only, knowledge. You only have one you. birthday a year. Oh, yo, yo, right. You will pay for this if she wakes up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, family. Yeah, I created a homeschool curriculum for baby girl. It's all good if she get up. I ain't tripping. She's a good girl. Hey, look at this girl. Uh oh. She's okay. She's tired. She's okay. She's tired. <laughs> she went back to sleep. She's alright. Oh. oh no. Bye baby. Where you going, baby? Where you going? Hello? Peace. Hi. Where y'all going? Huh? Give me something, please. Give me what I like. Spicy. What you want? You want something? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Right, ain't crazy. If she don't get all dressed up and everything, she don't be wanting to be on no video. I'm like, man, ain't nobody tripping. I'm sorry to be chewing this gum here. I actually, I just don't want to take it out and put it somewhere. This is actually some nice little joint. It's supposed to be helping clean the teeth. You ain't really supposed to chew gum. I don't chew. I ain't supposed to chew nothing in the past 10 minutes. That that gets ridiculous. No, I want to keep these teeth intact. Word. <clears throat> yeah, credit class, the credit portion of our course will commence this coming Sunday, but I got a special class I'll be doing based on holistic mathematics. That's part of the holistic mathematics, actually. <laughs> Peace. That's part of the holistic mathematics. She up. That means her mama must be close. Whenever she get up, I'm not whenever she get up, but a lot of times, she get up the second her mother leaves or she gets up whenever her mother's coming back. Show up. You finish running town, woman? No, because I got called back. You finish running town, woman? No. <laughs> Don't switch it back 
Peter. Don't hey. switch it back. Don't I, switch it. You good, baby. Look at him, all Miami'd out. We lit. <laughs> <laughs> we all Miami'd out. Thanks again for your love and support. That's right. Helping us find baby girl. Yeah, I actually titled this, How Did We Become So Disgusting? But I, I'm going to oh. see if I rename it. Sorry. But no, no, we on a positive vibe. I can't be negative because this baby girl in my hand, then my ad came around. Uh -huh. My ad just body a whole bunch of information. I'm like, yo. I say, yo, y'all don't know what she put us through when we teaching, but when she get on the camera, yo, I'm like, yo, what's organic? Oh. It's, it's, if it's created by plants, animals, boom, vitamins, da, da da da, minerals, going over all that stuff, right? That's baby stuff. The only thing she got caught slipping on was the heavy duty information about avocados. Oh. The antibacterial, she know it too. I just had to give her a little jump start, so she all right. The um, the avocados having antibacterial and antioxidant flavonoids in it, you know. But that's that's relatively new. And with a little jump start, she was in tune with it, you know. <clears throat> She's in tune with the carotene and everything, with the hair and the nails and all that. I, I accidentally, cause I be building so much, so I wound up talking about biotin, but I wanted her to tell me about biotin and how it helps up the production of carotene. Yeah. That, and if it's responsible for for hair production, then most likely if it's good for the hair, it's good for the nails. Right. You know, I could have let it get into the bill, but that's not really what we was on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. She happy about mommy here. Look, look. Hi. <laughs> look. Are you good? Mommy here, she ready to go now. Uh-oh. That's my baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mommy's here. Uh oh. Nefertari. Uh oh. Look at you. You see yourself? Nefertari. You see you? You see how you look? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's here. She's down. Love you. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, she's like, where you going, mommy? <laughs> I, I rocked with daddy, but that's the milk factory, if nothing else. Yeah, I was this close to just that, but I got cold. I'll fix, so. fix up both, baby. I'll fix your both. I, I can fix her. Hey, you have fun chilling with daddy? My little girls. I love my girls, man. Right? Love my baby girls. Look at her. So beautiful. Five months today. Five months old. The big five. <laughs> the big five. Yep. <laughs> she got up like, yep, that's me. That's you. Yep. Look at her. Look at her. She ready to walk and get up out of here. I'm right here. Look at her. She ain't playing. I'm right here. Look. 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 Look at mommy. You're following me everywhere I go. <laughs> Look at my baby. You ready to go, mommy? Let me get kissy. Stand up. Whoa, look how tall she is. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me catch this baby. Look at this baby. Hey. You gonna smile for daddy? Hey. Go smile. <laughs> Whoa. Hey baby. Hey baby, what the? Hey baby, you walking up, daddy? You walking all over, daddy? That's how y'all do, right? Hey baby, how you doing? Hi. I'm gonna take that phone. Hi. Yep. Yep. She wants the phone. She focused. Hi, baby. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, not until five again, right? <laughs> Yeah, so my was bodying it, like I said. She, yeah. Actually, I said, yo, how much, how much grams of protein does the average sanitary male need? She's like, that's like 56. Yeah. I said, how much for the female? Yeah. That's like 46. She, that's light. she, she said it like it was and light. Body said that. She said it like it was light. Like, yo, daddy, come on, give me that antibacterial, antioxidant, flavonoid talk. This is light. <laughs> this is light. <laughs> 
She said, this is entirely too light, daddy. I'm gonna start yelling at you if you don't give me something more difficult. <laughs> oh, I love my girl. I love her so much. I love Matt, man. She's so cool. She like, she could punch somebody out and she could do the math. And then you know I asked how much grams of fiber the average female need. She said 1.26. I asked her how much grams of fiber the male need. She did like she do. She, what she said, eight and ten, or instead oh, eight. of eight tenths. Uh, I job. Said, I said eight tenths. What you said? Eight tenths. That's what, what you say. You said. <laughs> Y'all need to see this live because this is what she do to me in real life. <laughs> what you said? You said. Eight tenths. You said eight tenths. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said eight ten or something. I gotta replay the video. Oh, we need to edit that out. Hey, look at baby. Look at baby. Hey, you. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, you reaching up for daddy? Hey. Hey. Go smile for daddy. Yeah. Give me that smile. Give me that smile. Yeah. Daddy. <laughs> daddy, love you. They say you brilliant and beautiful, Matt. Yeah, when she's not staring off into space. <laughs> Matt, Matt, I stay, she's an astronaut. I wouldn't be surprised you became an astronaut because you do a lot of time in space. You spend a lot of time up there. She just always be evaluating, thinking something. When you ask her what she thinking about, she be like, nothing. Oh, nothing. Drive us all crazy. We like, you was in deep thought. We calling you for like five hours. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. She doing it now. Look. Mac, look up. She a little jerk sometimes. <laughs> she want to clown that's, around. That's your job. <laughs> yeah. My baby. Beast mode. You did. I'm good. You you do that wash and float out our stuff? You get wash and fold that stuff? Yeah. Great. Because I ain't really. Oh, mine is fine. I Damn. So what we gotta do, we gotta see that Harriet Tubman joint. I don't know if we wanna just get that out the way right now. I mean, we can eat. I mean, but eating is overrated. So the same person you, asked me to bring you some time. Cause if you was going to get something to eat. Did you leave to get something to eat earlier? Yes, he did. But the Thai people, you know, they-, they Yo, I'm talking about the eight Oh, she ate earlier? She, how much time you trying to eat? Damn, man. Very yeah, she's a, she's fatigued from eating so damn much. Yeah, you work out. You be working out that jaw, just chewing all damn day. It's about to be four o'clock, okay? I had a snack. That's what I had. Snack. I had a snack. Your snack looked like a whole plate of food for an no, uh, ogre. Yo, we did some serious ad work today. I'm feeling that joint right now. That's what I'm saying. I would film that right now, but I don't want y'all to see her in space because she got top secret NASA stuff going on up there. <laughs> Never mind. So what you was thinking about? Going to the pool. You was thinking about going to the pool. Hold on, we about to uh, uh we about to get something to eat because of right. I have no idea. I was gonna, I was gonna wait to the time. I was gonna go see Harry Tubman movie and then. Let me take a quick video and then I'll come back. All right, so we can go see Harry Tubman. And then, and then eat. Just film me out. Figure it out. Yo, we gonna see Harry Tubman right now. You sure? Yeah. You gonna do what? Yo, man, we gonna see that movie right now. Cause once everybody do something different, I ain't gonna see nobody else until nine o'clock. Hey, Matt. Hey, get baby girl. Let's get up out of here and see that movie and see what's good. So, by the time we finish, the time yeah. should be open. Yeah, it'll be open. But we gotta get some stuff from the movie theater then. Man, yeah, I'm, 
yeah, no high fructose corn syrup, no crack. Yo, sugar really has absolutely no nothing. You looking for carbs? You're not gonna get that out of sugar. You looking for protein? You're not gonna get that out of sugar. <clears throat> I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Damn, damn, we against knowledge. No, no. We against like knowledge. knowledge you know how hard it is to raise my daughter in this type of household? Where are my baby's really campus? Yo, and everybody want to talk at the same damn time? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she like it. She like it. Baby, you better not be She's laughing solid. at this. You better not be laughing at that kind of energy. <laughs> you better not be joining them. You joining them in that? She's on mommy's side. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, until she, now, until exactly. she gets old and starts <laughs> to look like me. Right That's now, right, let's go. come on, let's go. Where's the pampers? Oh shit! Did you change my baby's pampers? Yes, I did. I changed it before we left. You changed her pampers on live? Nah, I didn't do that live because <laughs> it's perfs out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to get a, a doll to show them how to really do a uh, I'll just buy efficient pamper changing model for conscious folk. Cause I got, I got, I got a trick that I don't teach it's nobody. So they, they be hating on me because I got a trick. Okay. Um, do you want to eat something over by the mall? He said he's gonna breast me, so I was thinking. All right, come on. Sorry for the wait, princess. Oh, you think my princess? Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, man. For you taking up all our time. I ain't live. taking up all y'all time for the live. I'm doing the live and I'm and I'm walking. I'm doing the live. I'm doing the live and I'm walking. And you don't know where the carry is either. The carry? I know exactly where the carry is. Where is it? I, uh, it's in my duffel bag. And where's the stuff? It's far. Nah, I could go get it. Hey y'all, I'm gonna check y'all later because this is what this Peace is. Family. This is all a trick to get Love me. You. This is all a trick to get he me off the He needs to get back to his family. Thank you. This is all a dang trick. But I'm gonna let y'all know how that Harriet Tubman thing. I hope it's great. I hope they get some real historical facts in there. And they don't waste my children's time. Yes, children, because even baby girl gonna be taking it all in, right? Hey, say bye bye, baby. I'm gonna run and get your stuff. Yep. Yeah. One. You want to take the walk there or y'all want an Uber? I know it's a short walk. I would do an Uber. No one's carrying this paper. I am. You don't carry this paper? I always carry it. You no, do not always carry it. just too manly to carry that other stuff. You oh, need. my God. Come on. This is, we got to go somewhere else. I can carry it. Right, can you just get this down? All right, see y'all. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. She's tired. Say bye-bye, baby. Say bye-bye. You whining all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold right hand for me, baby. Watch, watch. Hold her hand. We about, you see, I told you she almost running into people. Hold right hand and let her know when people are walking by. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Say bye, Matt. Tell them peace. Deuces. Chuck up the deuces. She, she too grown lately. Look at my brother right here, avoiding me at the pool table and foosball. Oh, listen, man, it wasn't, it wasn't even that serious. <laughs> he tried to trash me the other day. Nah, man. I ain't never forget. Come me some credit, man. I be trying to have fun. You see me up here dealing with all these crap. I already know you be dealing with the wild. All right, my brother, I'm going to go get it right now, baby. I got you, baby. Yeah, let me get this down. Need a supervisor, me. I don't need no supervisor. Hey y'all, thank y'all for tuning in for this live. Hell yeah, I need a supervisor. I'm about to sit here and kick it for a little more time. <laughs> Let's stop. Get them something to eat. Oh, thank goodness. Get that damn going. I apologize for doing the stream. No. All right, y'all.
See y'all later. 